Yeah, I've been very fortunate to come out of a family that has been very supportive, supported in whatever my, my, my rugby career especially. I was a six-year-old and they were at every single rugby match, every single training session. And I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for a mother and a father and so brother and sister that has been constant in my life concerning my rugby career, concerning every every other sphere of my life. My parents have always been great role models for me, be it in the workplace, be it from a spiritual background, be it from whatever. Their constant parents have always been present in our lives. While the day my mom, uh, I, I played a match, I was six years old. She gave me a red underpants to wear on the day. I scored about six tries that match. And that day she told me, Jy speel soos die rooi gevaar. And from that day on, I realized I want to make this a dream. I can score tries, so I, I want to make this. And yeah, I've, ever since then, I've, 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 I've enjoyed it. It is of utmost importance to have, to have supportive parents. Whatever dreams me, my brother and my sister had, they've always, they've always supported us. And that, that belief of knowing a parent is supporting and backing you, that gives you so much confidence. You run out into a field or you stand on a Stedford stage and you just speak with so much more confidence. Yeah. Um, I've been very fortunate and thankful to play a wonderful rugby career. It's been it's been a, a, a years filled with joy and happiness. Um, I will never forget in 2009. It was a it was a very challenging year. It was very I was very blessed in that year concerning my career. Um, I lost my sister. We buried her the Saturday before Craven Week started. The Monday I didn't have energy to go play. However, my parents said, "No, my boy, you are going to play that Craven Week. We're coming through. We're packing the car." And they came all the way through to come support me. And the, that's testament of the the role my family has played. And then a few years down the line, and more recently. Um, in 2017, my mom fell very ill. I was at the Kings at the time and they were, they were going through the transition phase with, well, they play super, um, Pro 14 or Super Rugby. And it came to a point down where my dad called me and said, I think maybe just come home now for, and then we can see the time out. And when I got home, I found that mom was very ill. So much so that the doctors at the time gave my mom 30% chance of living at that specific moment. and. We were, we were caught between a rock and a hard place. What, what am I going to do with my career? And that, in that moment, I decided for years, my family has been so supportive for me. Um, I think it's time that I prioritize them. And in the meantime, I had to say no to overseas deals, um, overseas deals, deals from other unions. Um, but that was my priority, was my family. She went in for a massive heart surgery and, and she actually made a full recovery which was beautiful. We sat on this couch where we had to do physio and rehab and I had to assist with that in a sense. And, and she was strong for this for the whole year. And in that time, I sort of realized, okay, I have to be here in Cape Town, back at home for, for now. Towards the end, um, for the last year, we got, we had this very special time together. And it's very unfortunate that in September uh, the 7th, uh, 2018, we unfortunately lost her. I'm just thankful for the year that I've got to spend with her and that was just a blessing for me and, and it was just for me time to prioritize my family. I don't for a minute think that, or well, I don't have any regret. Being with her in that last time was just phenomenal. At the time, I was unemployed in a sense. It, it literally it forced me to have to spend some quality time with my family. There was a dark space concerning the end of my the transition period end of my career because the one minute you are a superstar you are newspaper articles and it's just everyone's crazy about you people are recognize you and there was a there was a period i was struggling with like not being you're not being recognized anymore however it comes back to my family being the constant and in, the, in that moment i just realized that yes it's it's tough and it's a, it's a journey that I needed to walk, but I'm just so thankful because something I've always been passionate about was the radio and TV. That opportunity came about. Uh, opportunity, like I've mentioned, to spend quality time with my family, to build relationship with my mom, with my dad, with my brother again. All these things I, I got back and that was a thing of beauty and that was something that I had no price, no, no career, no money figure can, can, can put on that. 
I actually promised myself that I'll never get involved in coaching. Once my rugby career is done, I'm, I'm out. It's much more than just coaching rugby. I think this is a perfect opportunity to create um, just better men. I realized that I want to be a Springbok dad, Springbok husband, Springbok father one day. If I can somehow create that culture with, with, with these young men, then, then I'm fulfilling my purpose. So yes, that's why I got into it and I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Post my career, I always said I want to get involved in radio or TV. Commentating sounded very good and it was, it was one way of staying close to the game as well. I wanted to create a story, tell a story, and I've been very fortunate. I've had some good people mentoring me, guys like Brayton Porcer, Matthew Pierce assisted me in, with this whole journey and the transition phase. So yeah, I'm very, I'm enjoying it, I'm, I'm loving it. I've always been an avid public speaker and I enjoyed, I love telling a story. Radio just allows you, because you don't see the audience in front of you, you're speaking to, to no one, it allows you to tell, to tell beautiful stories and uh, create a beautiful story. So that's, that's, that's why I got involved and I've been enjoying it ever since. I've faced a lot of challenges in my life, uh, things that has, that has really been painful and especially in my rugby career, however, those things have, have molded me and prepared me to tell people, like, there's hope and, and, and the sun will come up tomorrow morning. I realize that there's a lot more to life as well than just, than just rugby. Yes, I'm very thankful for rugby. It has prepared me in so many areas of my life, in so many facets, discipline, hard work, sacrifice, all those wonderful things. But I've realized there's a bigger picture that's waiting after this career, it's on to the next thing now. And all those rugby lessons that I've learned has, has prepared me for this, for this life in a sense now. Whatever circumstance, whatever challenges you face, whatever trials and tribulations, there is hope. And, and, and sur surrounding yourself with the, with the right people, um, knowing where you're going, setting out goals for yourself, you can achieve it. And that's the beauty of my journey that I've, that I've been on for the last 27 years. 28 years, I'm sorry, 28 years, I'm getting old. <laughs>